Welcome back to another studio vlog. This week is a super, super important week. I need to start fine tuning everything for an Adachi Con, which is happening on Friday. And I am so thankful that I've been planning my table setup since the beginning of March. Before, when I was planning to be in person, I would do it the week of, and it was such a huge headache. My husband and I would stay up really late trying to figure this stuff out. Today, the most important thing that I need to do is to make my price tags for all my items. We also have to figure out how to do the organization in the back for the inventory. Thankfully, I don't have a lot of inventory, so that won't be that big of a deal for us. And I believe most of the items we have are small and flat. The biggest item I have is my 8.5 by 11 art print. So let's get started. signs yesterday and I tested them on my setup before I decided to laminate them. I'm laminating them with this book laminate but the reason why the signs are specifically this size is so I can use this laminate above it. This piece of laminate is from when I cut the squares to laminate the white square displays that you guys saw in my last video vlog. So we're going to laminate as many signs as I can. I already laminated one here. It is both in French and English. I didn't have to have both languages on here, but I figured 
since I did take French courses, I might as well put my French to use, even though my French isn't the best. <laughs> Let's get this thing laminated. Since this laminate is so easy to work with, I don't really need to use a ruler, but sometimes I still do. But this is really easy to work with, so I'm not gonna worry about it. I was having trouble figuring out a display for my acrylic pens especially because I didn't want to poke them through this square so what I did was I took a heavy cardstock decorated the edges like they are on my squares and then I folded them on the side here and here so it kind of pops out and it looks really really good it kind of highlights them I was worried because I only have three pens I was afraid that they would get lost amongst all the other accessories as you can see there's a gap up here and I could push these buttons through so they still have their backing on it and it looks really really good <laughs> In one of my past studio vlogs, I was talking about how comp prep was going pretty good and I knew that closer to the con, there was a possibility that there would be a roadblock or something that's gonna make comp prep pretty bad for me. And this day was that day. My husband wanted us to be done with the table setup and the majority of my to-dos by then so that Thursday could mostly be a rest day laminating stickers was not as easy as it was in the last studio vlog. I was having trouble with the laminate and it was messing up a lot more than it normally does. And I kept doing it over and over, messing up so many sticker sheets and laminate. And then it finally 
clicked to me that the reason why I was having this problem was because the laminate was closer to the end of the roll. So this means that the laminate is more rolled up than the previous pieces of laminate. But then before I figured that out, I was getting super, super angry. Mostly because I was wasting so much material. I knew that this day was going to come. Finally, after finishing laminating all the sticker sheets and everything I wanted to laminate, I decided to make more art prints. And I started to mess up when it came to cutting my prints. So I had about three or four Studio Ghibli prints that I messed up on when I was cutting. I was still angry from laminating the stickers and I'm very, very stubborn. I should have taken a break, but I didn't do that because again, I'm very, very stubborn. And when I'm focused on something, I want to get it done. So I had to just take a moment, take a deep breath, remind myself, to calm down because if I don't calm down I'm gonna keep messing up and that's when things started to slowly get better and I stopped messing up on silly little things such as cutting my prints with my paper cutter. Later that evening my husband and I recounted inventory. There are some items that I sold in the Etsy shop and there's items that I made more of so we had to make sure that inventory was right. We also figured out how to organize our products at the back of my table and let me tell you guys having displays with an open back is such a huge win especially if you're someone with a bunch of small products like me i was able to put my washi tape under the display where my mystery bags were in the length of the ikea shoe rack was perfect for the length of the organizers i had some of my other items in so it was amazing how easy it was to figure out and how useful that was the only thing that we couldn't put on the back of the table was the stick books and the prints because I also had larger prints. So those were the only things that were under the table and we didn't sell too much of those so it was okay. It's not like we were having to go under the table all the time. Later that evening, my husband packed up the table setup and the majority of the products and yeah. I am happy I was able to get through it even though the start of it was rough. But that's just how it is sometimes when you're comp prepping and when it comes to small business in general, not every day is going to be an amazing and great and perfect day. Some days are just really horrible like this day, but we made it through and that's all that matters. Today is Thursday, March 23rd. And tomorrow is the start of Nadashikan. I have been working so long up till this day to get prepared for the artist alley and I'm super super excited. Yesterday I decided to stock up on inventory. I didn't bring too much from a bunch of other veteran sellers. Most suggest at least 10 of your most popular products. And I think that's about right for the size of an Nadashikan. I read that in 2019 they had about 2,700 attendees. But Nadashikan hasn't been around since the pandemic. So this would be the first Nadashikan since then. And from Facebook, I've seen a lot of people talking about it. I'm in an unofficial otakotong group on Facebook and a lot of people are talking about it and it makes me really really happy. I was joking with my husband that it would really really suck if the weather was bad this weekend and right now it is snowing. <laughs> the weather here has been really really weird. There's been a few days where it's gray and snowy and then all of a sudden it's suddenly sunny and bright and no snow and like it was like that for a few days and I don't know why, but right now it is snowing. I think tomorrow there's a lower chance of snow. I believe Saturday is supposed to be better. And then Sunday we are supposed to expect one to three inches of snow, which kind of sucks, but it's snow and it's Canada. Snow doesn't stop people here from doing things, but it could play a factor. Yesterday, my husband 
took down everything and packed all my stuff up there's still some little things here and there that i need to do before tomorrow but it's not really huge things i think the main thing i have to do is make sure i iron my bed sheet that i'm using to cover my table i have a steamer that would be a lot more convenient but for some reason it doesn't work i used it a while back a few years ago to steam my wedding dress and then suddenly out of nowhere it's no longer working and it really really annoys me but what can I do? Later on this evening after my husband and I eat dinner, we're gonna go out and buy a few more things. We need to buy some of the tacky stuff that you can use to mount things on walls and stuff. We're using that to put up stickers, signs. Let's get started on that. So the day for Nadashikon is finally here and I'm super super excited. I had a bit of a hard time waking up today but it's okay, finally up, <laughs> ate breakfast, got ready. We're just waiting for my mother-in-law. She lives really close to here so it won't take her really long to get here. We have four hours to set up. I'm going to take my time and make sure everything's as perfect or as nice as I want it. I'm super excited, so come along and let's see how day one of Nadashi Khan goes. I guess the last thing you could do it just depends. This is how the setup looks like.
looks good. This is how the bag looks like. All the stickers are in here. We have our snack bags. Here's the square reader. So freebies, memo sheets. The wash tape is behind this display. It's very, very, very useful. Then we have the layers, a sample of the sticker book. All the acrylic stuff is in here. They're all under the IKEA brand. And then we have some bags. This is how it looks underneath. We have a makeshift trash can we use with a small box. It's a box with my products. We, this is emergency stuff. This is the box to have our products. We use this thing to slide or push our products here. My tripod and my backpack on the side here. And we also have our signs up at the very top of here of this left side of the grid cubes. Hello, so it's the next day. It's going to be day two of Nadashkan. Yesterday it was really, really slow. I know I should expect that for a smaller con, especially on a Friday. Today is supposed to be the bigger day, so hopefully traffic picks up. I made a couple of sales, but not as much as I would have liked. But then again, it's a really small convention. I have to say I give huge props to people who do this all the time. I was so tired, so hungry by the end of it. We went to McDonald's to eat and I've never enjoyed McDonald's so much in my entire life. But yeah, today is gonna be a longer day. We're gonna be starting early. The con opens at 10 and it closes at six. You guys like my outfit? It's pretty fancy. I wish I could show you guys. But I got this super cute and unique cardigan from Sekai Art on Etsy. And it's really, really cute. also have a moon clip to match it. If you watch me for a while, you know that I'm usually in pajamas when I work. And that's just how I work when I'm at home. I'm more comfortable. I'm not exactly sure how much I'm going to film. I'm not going to lie. When I pull out my camera, I feel a little odd. <laughs> I have my tripod, but I don't want to take up too much space in the artist alley section for us. It's a pretty decent space between us but still I don't want to take up people's spot and I don't want to have like a, a giant tripod out I'm still kind of uncomfortable about that but I'm going to try my best to film as much as possible so let's go real Lily one of the first ones here. Going to reset up our table. We decided that we're going to redo the table already. So we're taking all our products. As you can see, my towers are on the side. So yeah, we're going to just reset it up every day. I don't have too many products. Put the towers in the back. As you can see the artist alley space is pretty big. It's mostly covered up from last night. Yeah, we're kind of close to the doors over here. There's like multiple doors on this side. So we're about to do day three of Natasha Khan. Yesterday was a lot better than Friday. It was fairly busy and I'm happy with how it went. I think it was pretty decent amount of people there for our small con. Unfortunately, it snowed overnight. We have a lot of snow. Hopefully that doesn't keep people from going to the convention, but we'll see how today goes. We just finished setting up for the last day. I'm really tired. <laughs> 
So we'll see if we can make it through. We're gonna open in about 25 minutes. The most important thing I need to do today is find a gift for my mother-in-law. So when it starts, I'm gonna go look around and see if I can find something for her. She has been bringing us back and forth to the convention and she doesn't want any compensation for it. But today with all the snow and everything, she didn't mind bringing us here. So when the con starts, maybe I'll take you along and we'll see if we can find something for her. No, I don't think they're gonna fit. Are you sure? Had someone who watches the vlog come by and buy a filo for me and I didn't ask for their name. They had a friend with them and I felt bad. I should ask for their name. I get nervous when people tell me that they watch me because like no one has ever told me that before. So it's nice to meet some subscribers and some people who watch my vlogs. So he came by and said hi. I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much. Let's get to a card card. Okay. Merci beaucoup. These are almost gone. This is really popular. Not much of this side sold. I sold one one stack bag. Sold a bunch of buttons. Made a few more Totoro and no faces. So thankfully I did because Totoro is almost out. Heels are gone. Faites attention s'il vous plaît. La salle marchande fermera ses portes en quelques minutes. <laughs> so the other two of these that I had, I wasn't planning to, but people actually really like them. The Frago Nemo sheet pad was very popular. 
And so what's this pink winter penguin? I sold some of these sheets. Two of these I sold. Sold a couple of the sticker books. Two sticker books, I think. And then yeah. That's pretty much it. go off now he did a really good job this weekend <laughs> March 29th. It has been two days since the convention. I took those two days just to chill and just rest and just do whatever I want. I uh, had a little bit of trouble the first day trying to figure out where we should go so we can enter the artist alley and set out for the first day. I think where we ended up going we didn't really need to be at. In the photo that we got it was like the loading dock in the back. And because my mother-in-law, my mother-in-law is an angel, she took us back and forth to the convention all three days. It was my husband's idea and I did not like the idea at first because I didn't want to bother my mother-in-law about it and you know, she probably has other things to do. Finally in the end, my husband asked her and she was more than happy to help us. She didn't want any compensation or anything because we were going to give her money for gas. Because of that, we didn't have to pay for any gas or any parking. I love my mother-in-law. She is amazing. It saved us so much time in the mornings and the evenings because we didn't have to go like downstairs into the parking garage to go get our car or try to get a spot like in front of the doors because in front of the exit of where the convention is at there's like a little slit that's not a part of the road so you could park there while other cars pass you and like only four cars could fit in there so we were really lucky to be able to utilize that but eventually we figured out where we're supposed to go and after that it was fine this is my first three-day convention and i heard so many horror stories from watching a lot of artist alley vlogs where the staff was not that great the nadashkan staff was amazing Every morning when we came in during the vendor's time, they checked everyone's badges very, very carefully to make sure that we were the vendors. Another thing is they were very accommodating and they also checked up on us. They would come and ask if we needed our water bottles filled up and they would also ask us if we spoke French or English. And it felt really, really nice. It kind of felt like um, almost being at Disney World but not Disney World. I guess in an artist alley perspective because it's really nice like customer service. They also had someone in the staff come by and warn every single vendor when there was an attempted theft. It was really nice that they took the time and the effort to do that. After the convention I did post about it in one of the artist alley groups I'm in and Facebook because there are quite a few vendors who wasn't sure if they wanted to go there because it's 
really small they would have to come out of the province maybe a travel from montreal which is i believe about three four hours from here so there would be like hotel costs gas and so on so they would have huge expenses however i met artists who came from alberta who came from toronto and for the ones from alberta that i asked they said that this video was worth it to them they of course would have made more than they would have if they were vending in Alberta but I've read from someone's Instagram post that they were able to pay all their expenses and have some money left over to make some future merch so I'm not exactly sure how much that is but then it's really nice to know that those who traveled so far just to been at this small convention that it was worth it to them also just so you know like i mentioned earlier they are very accommodating so if you're someone who has been kind of looking at a doshikon but wasn't sure they would speak to you in english if you don't know french the convention center is in old quebec old quebec is a very very touristy area there's a lot of stores a lot of restaurants and everything and i would like to say that the majority of the workers employees that are in Oak Quebec will know English at least. Some of them will probably know multiple languages but definitely don't be afraid to come just because you can't speak French or write your signs or price tags in French. If you have any English it's totally fine. I like to believe that the majority of the attendees that go to these kind of things will know English as well and if they don't there's nothing like a simple pointing at things that won't help you communicate with them. A staff in charge of the Dodgecon says that they're planning to keep the artist alley the same size, which I believe is a great size for that size of a convention. My husband also said that he overheard some attendees saying that they were surprised by how big the artist alley was. And then they're going to focus their attention on trying to get more attendees. So I'm really, really excited. I hope that Nadashikon can become a bigger convention in the future. That would be amazing. Where the had Nadashikon was at a very different location from where Quebec Comic Con was. And it makes a lot of sense because Nadashikon is smaller so it doesn't need that big of a section of the convention. So I was really surprised when we first arrived but it turned out that everything was perfect the way it was. And I really appreciated that they had a little water fountain thing where you push the little lever they had one there right by the doors and they had cups for attendees and the cups for the vendors if you didn't bring a water bottle it's very easy to access and get to and come back to my table i just love nadashikon in general and i definitely now understand why people say that it's the cozy but busy enough convention i wasn't busy all the time there were times where it was slow but there are also times when I was busy. It's fun just being on the other side of the table for a three-day convention. Also, thank you so much if you came by to my table and said hi or bought something from me so that you watch my YouTube videos. This is the first event where anyone has told me that they watch my YouTube videos and I honestly didn't know how to respond. So if I had an awkward response, to you saying that then i really apologize also if i spoke french to you i am very sorry if my french wasn't that good i really really tried <laughs> but it was nice to get to practice my french more talking about how i did an adoshi con this is something that lee spirit designs does every time in an artist alley vlog that she has she also does artist alleys all the time she's located in the u.s so if you want to see more Artist Alley content, I highly suggest that you check her vlog out. But I'm going to do something very similar that she does at the end of her vlogs. And I'm going to share the percentages in a pie chart of how I did on a Dashikon. This is how the pie chart looks like. And as you can see, I profited. And I'm really, really happy about that. I had quite a bit of expenses some of the items that were a part of my expenses was my acrylic nail polish racks the tablecloth the fabric that i bought for my table display i bought two bed sheets from the thrift store that i used to cover my table 
that was also part of my expenses there was food and snacks and a couple more things so the expenses i think for me were pretty high but again some of these products i won't have to buy again in the future i was able to pay off all the expenses including the table fee just for this convention alone i would have been totally fine if i didn't get expenses paid from this convention because over time i would have paid it off from vending more and i had a little bit on the pie chart that was for square fees which wasn't really bad at all also for this convention i had more customers who use cash over card it was kind of nice because you know when you use the square with the cards there's a fee depending on which card the person uses sometimes there'd be a 10 cent fee but then if they use something like a mastercard i think the fee for the transaction is higher so i'm glad that the square fees in the end wasn't that huge again i'm just happy that i profited and paid all the expenses overall it was a great experience however sunday morning i was starting to think if i really wanted to do this for me it was kind of rough because it is my first duty convention even though it is local it's something i've never done before i did a two-day event at a craft fair which went horrible for me i barely made table at that event so i just kind of already didn't have that great of an expectation going into Nadashkan, especially on friday pretty sure friday didn't go that well for most people for me it was like okay but for how long we were there it wasn't that great but then again it was friday i just felt that maybe i'm not up to this maybe i can't make enough product to do this stuff in the future because i do do group orders because i don't think i'm at a point where i'm ready to go off of group orders and buy things in a higher quantity it was kind of tough for me but then after sunday i realized you know what i actually do really enjoy this so i'm hoping to get more in the future i think the next event that i would try to do is cosplay imagineer which is the first event i did where i vended for one day i really really enjoyed that event my husband and i we are planning to go to a talkathon which is the big anime convention here located in montreal during the summer we are planning to go but as attendees so that would be our vacation i don't think i'm ready to vend at a huge convention yet because again i'm still trying to figure out products and so on and maybe next year i would try a few more conventions i'm starting to learn more about some conventions that are a little bit further out from us but not as far as in montreal so hopefully next year that's something i can look into overall this experience was amazing i love meeting all the new artists and artists that i've been following for a really long time talking to those who watch me and those who enjoy my stuff i can't believe it we're finally at the end of the nadashi Khan vlog i think this is gonna be a really long vlog so i hope that you guys enjoy and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye